All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to this episode of 5-Minute Mixing Tips. Today we're going to talk about signal routing in FL Studio and using the mixer. So for starters, we're going to load up a synth or an instrument, whatever you'd like. I've gone ahead and got Citrus loaded up here. So there's two different places that you can see which mixer track your instrument in, or channel is assigned to. Um, right to the left of the channel, you can see it here. This says number one. Or if you open up the instrument, it's in the top right hand corner. If you double click, it'll change the focus to your mixer. And we're going to bring this up and put it on mixer track 20. So what happens here is your signal comes from your synthesizer, from your channel, into the mixer. It goes into insert number 20, and the signal comes over here into your effect slots. It starts at the top goes all the way down through the 10 available slots into this built-in equalizer and then it comes on over to your fader. Over here in these slots you can put in an effect just for the heck of it we'll put in um, a phaser. So that signal once it comes back on over to our mixer track you can be changed with your fader. Change your volume. You have panning, left, right, you also have the ability to switch your stereo left and right, as well as reverse your polarity. If you need to turn off your effects at any time, you just click this little orange button. And that turns off your phaser or anything else that's there. That audio signal will then travel out of the bottom. You see this green arrow and these little bitty wires. These wires indicate where your signal is going. One travels out to your master channel. The others are going to your send effects over here on the right, currently set as tracks number 100, 101, 102, and 103. One cool thing about FL Studio is you can create as many subgroups as you would like, and you can route any of your mixer channels to another mixer channel. That's something that we'll cover in depth in another video. But for now, I just wanted to go over the basics of signal routing and assigning a track or a channel to your mixer. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode of 5-Minute Mixing Tips. I hope it was helpful to someone out there. Feel free to leave a message in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything particular you'd like me to do a video about in the future, please let me know.